often we are trying to use a measurement system to measure um, transient signals in the time domain. The design of the measurement system transfer function must be such that we do not impart artifacts on the signal um, due to an underdamped measurement system response. So careful attention needs to be paid to the design of the measurement system for measuring transient signals or transient waveforms. So a way to evaluate the transient response of a particular filter is to examine its step response. Step response is measured by applying a sudden DC input uh, to the filter and then measuring uh, the output response of that filter. The specs that we can look at uh, on the step response include the 50% delay time and that's the time it takes uh, for the response on its initial rise to go from 0 to 50 percent of its final value. We can look at the rise time, uh, the time of the initial rise to go between 10 and 90 percent of the final value. We can look at a settling time to a specific uh, percentage and that's the time it required for the step function to reach and stay within a certain percentage of the final value. And finally, we can look at uh, something we call the overshoot, and that's the percentage that the, the step response exceeds its final value on the initial rise. So to illustrate some of these concepts, we have an indicial or uh, step response. I use the term indicial uh, response since the step response indicates the transfer function of the filter. We can differentiate the step response to get the impulse response and then take the inverse Laplace transform of the impulse response to get back to the transfer function of the filter. This particular step response is a highly underdamped step response. It would not be a very good step response to use to, to measure um, uh, transient type uh, tests. So we see on this, on this uh, response the 50% delay time, the 10 to 90% rise time, the large overshoot and the ringing and we measure the ringing to uh, where the the value is within certain percentages of the final value that's called the settling time we were, we're indicating the 10 percent settling time and the um, 5 percent settling times on this chart here is a plot of the step response of the LP8P pulse mode low pass filter with linear phase in the LP8F flat mode filter and we can see uh, right away that the LP8P has a much better behaved step response than the than the flat mode filter. It has a very good uh, rise time, uh, short delay time, very low overshoot and it rapidly settles to its finer, final value with very little uh, ringing. Uh, the LP8 F, on the other hand, has about 19% overshoot, um, lots of ringing, uh, resulting in longer settling times, and in general this would be a, a poor choice uh, for a transient response measurement, uh, a shock measurement, where you're trying to maybe uh, ascertain the peak pressure value in a gun barrel or, or something like that. Uh, you sample at that first overshoot peak and you're making almost a 20 percent error. Um, why uh, does the LP8F have such poor overshoot? Well it's a direct result in how abruptly we truncate the Fourier series of the unit step function. Uh, the pulse mode filter with its broadly rounded response uh, gently truncates that Fourier series and results in uh, as a result very little overshoot. You abruptly truncate the Fourier series and and that results in something that's known as Gibbs phenomenon or Gibbs peak and um, that is what is is uh, the reason for that 20 percent overshoot that we see in the step function.